But first, a push tonight for a new school holiday in the Nassau School District. Our Tama Ponton is live in Eula tonight, where a school board meeting just wrapped up. And Tama, there was strong reaction to this. That's right, Rich, and this is an ongoing issue here. As a matter of fact, back in 2018, the board decided not to add the Muslim holidays of Eid to the school calendar. But tonight, years later, some community members tell us they are not giving up. You have to recognize that things are changing and you need to change with them and there's no reason to stay stagnant. Usma Rashid, a graduate of Hewlett High School and current college sophomore at Stony Brook, says she is at tonight's school board meeting to once again advocate for the addition of two Muslim holy days to the school calendar. Representation matters and I don't think it's about like giving the day off anymore. It's about them recognizing that there are different students and different communities that need to be represented in Rashid, her brother Ibrahim, an 11th grader at the high school and several other members of the community spoke at tonight's board meeting about their continued efforts to get the Muslim holidays of Eid al fitr and Eid al Adha on the school calendar. The community itself is becoming more diverse, a lot more Muslims in this community and just it's clear evidence is there and they're just not willing to accept it. But some school board members say there are reasons they cannot add Eid to the calendar. The law is written in such that we are not in a position to add a religious holiday to our calendar. Adding Eid and Hewlett would be, in my opinion, this is just me speaking, would be a violation of constitutional law, and I believe would be subjected to a challenge. And this is not the first time the board has been asked to add the Muslim holidays to the calendar. A proposal was first submitted back in 2017 by Shanaz Malik of Woodmere. Both for the child and the parents and the community. No vote was taken tonight, but dozens spoke during the public comment portion of the meeting, taking the opportunity to let board members know where they stand. You would think that viewpoints would change over time or they would see that we're very persistent and this is not going to end. It's an ongoing debate, Tama. So what happens next now? Is the board going to vote again on this to add the holidays or not? Well, Rich, tonight is what was called a work meeting. So no vote was actually taken. It was just the public comment and the discussion you heard there from some of those board members. Now, the next board meeting is actually next Wednesday at 8 p.m. And that is if any votes are taken, that is when that will happen.